All right, can you do low light photography with uh, uh, zoom lenses or telephoto lenses? Well, you can, but you're going to get a trade off. Uh, usually, you're going to have to be on a, uh, a tripod and or going to have to resort to flash. So, you can do it. Um, it's not that bad. I mean, I, I've done dark bars with this. I will give you some photo samples uh, a little later on with this lens, uh, you know, in, in, in the videos just to show you kind of what you can do and what you can't do and then you can judge on the photo whether that would suit you in that in that situation or not uh but yeah you can do low light it's just it's it's a lot harder because your camera doesn't respond as fast now newer cameras the, you know again this is 2003 technology so you know the cameras are a lot better now uh that type of thing so you know judging your ISO speed judging this uh you know your lights and stuff like that you can do it but just understand that the trade there's always a trade-off somewhere and with a telephoto lens these things are uh, like 70 to 300 is almost no good in low light at all it's just it's too slow uh for this lens maybe you might be able to get a better lens i don't know but uh and you're going to be paying a lot more so that the more you pay usually the better lens quality you get but there's always just, I mean, it's a big long tube. The longer the tube, the less light that gets in there. So for low light photography, you might be better off with fixed focal lengths. Um, I'll probably see if I can find some uh, used fixed focal length lenses for this thing again later on when I get some extra money. But right now, this covers everything I need to do. And I have used it, you know, for weddings, indoors. Uh, indoor photography, usually you're better, uh, you know, better off with fixed focal lengths because you can let in more light you don't have to resort to a flash so I just type it that that's just something to consider anyway um i'll keep this video kind of short so there we go